In my previous video, I've shown you how to find the best graphics card for Asus P8H61-M motherboard and one of my viewers have asked me whether this graphic card which is Radeon R9290 is compatible with this Asus graphic card. You can follow this method to double check that your graphics card is compatible with your motherboard. As I suggested in this video, I said go to this website called PCSpecs.com and then you will find your compatible graphic cards. But unfortunately, not all the graphics cards are given here. There is a lot of graphics cards given. Probably you will still find the best graphic card, but not necessarily all the graphics cards. So if I click on NVIDIA, you can see a list of graphics cards and you can find even more. And if I click on AMD family of graphics card and the one that the viewer asked for, which is R9290, is not given in here. But you don't need to panic because if it's not given in here, that doesn't mean that it is not compatible. But anything that's here should be compatible with your motherboard that you have selected. So what you have to do is to go to another website called PCPotPicker.com then you need to go and click on system builder in here you need to select first your motherboard so go and select here type the name of your motherboard in this search and then it finds you four different version we are looking for this one even though this is says rev 3 and ours is rev 2 and it didn't find rev 2 but it is still okay because it's just one revision difference so i will select this and then you can scroll down and see its specification to double check that it matches your specification and once you're happy then click on add so we have added the motherboard into this list what we need to now to check is the graphics card in this website it is called video card so you need to click on choose a video card and then as we did last time just come here and search for the video card it finds a lot of video cards with a lot of different manufacturers to make the list more clear what i would do is to select the company that has most of the graphics card such as sapphire what you need to do is come to the manufacturer side and then select for example sapphire and then you can see the list has reduced and it's easier to find what you're looking for so if you look carefully you see that yes radeon r9290 is there also bear in mind there is another version which is with the x and it looks like it's much better also bear in mind the x1 also has two different versions one with four gb memory and one with 8 gb memory if you go with 8 gb it would be better because the communication between the inbuilt ram and the graphics card is obviously more smooth and more effective than the communication between the ram on your motherboard and the graphics card so the higher the ram for your graphics card that's better so what you have to do next is select this one some specification on this side it gives you some pictures how it looks on the photos it's quite clear what it got and what it doesn't and then if you click on add it adds in here and on the top in here it shows whether it's compatible or not and you see it says it is compatible it didn't find any issues the next thing you need to check is that your power supply has enough capability to supply the increase in power requirement by the new graphics card so this estimation is just for the motherboard and the video card so you need to add the cpu and maybe hard disk and a few other things to get more accurate estimation and double check that your power supply unit has enough power to give to the new graphics card i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel i hope to see you in my next video bye bye